Hey library viewers, what's happening? So, this is my first book review. I'm going to be talking about a book that I really like. Um, at least I have liked after reading it. Um, the School of Good and Evil. So, the book right over there um, is The School of Good and Evil. That's what it looks like. If you picked it up, um, at least the version I've got, the soft copy. Um, the book itself obviously tackles the idea of good and evil. The book is a battle in the world of fairy tales between these two um, stations, you know. And it goes on two characters, Agatha and Sophie. So Agatha and Sophie are both um, characters that really take, um, you know, the idea of good and evil and fairy tales and start twisting it around in a way that we never would have really imagined. And, you know, I think in a book, that's really what you want. You want a, you want a book that never really hits the ideals, hits the picture of what is normal, you know. It's, it's good to have a book that's um, opposite of that, that's um, very abnormal, that's very... Um, idea twisting and getting your mentally into a different state of you know recognition and at least for a fiction i think fiction books really should have the the edge to them i see a lot of monotony in uh, books in uh, fiction books that i've been reading i see a lot of uh, the same sort of things happening and i'm a person who likes to have that edge of uh, difference in it saying that saying that um, the book is a very, very nice book. It covers the idea of personality, it covers the idea of uh, me, the idea of um, these two characters and who they really are and what they really want throughout the book. Um, and it, it battles uh, scenarios and it battles uh, feeling the environment, you know. And environment really plays a lot in this book, I think, because, because really they could be anybody. But when they go to the school, you know, the environment affects them and their recognition to this environment really makes them feel like that, you know, um, in a special way. Now, I don't want to reveal any parts of the book, but that would really, like, make the story less interesting, so I'm not gonna. But um, I say that that battle between good and evil and those twists that happen between these two characters are really what drives the book home. Um... Uh, the main two characters, like I said, was Agatha and Sophie. So Agatha is sort of a seemingly um, dark, witch-like, not nice kind of person in this village that they're living in. And Sophie is sort of the opposite. She really cares for her father um, uh, to have a good, you know, like, wife after her mother was gone. And she also wants to be nice to Agatha and um, sort of, you know, be the pretty princess or something like that. Um, and yeah, so, you know, these these ideals are really twisted. These ideals are really melted, um, completely changed and differentiated. And more than that, there are just funny parts. There are um, interesting things that you would have never suspected. And uh, there's a level of fantasy elements like stymphs and uh, nymphs and, um, you know, like levels of um, wolves and go gnomes and dwarfs and all sorts of different kind of things that happen in this world. And the best part about a book is that it's really left to imagination. All right, so my review, it's a good book. Highly rated, one of my favorite books. I would recommend it to most people. I think that you guys might enjoy it, maybe if you try it. Um, and it's it's maybe a worthwhile read, I don't know. Um, do tell me. And that's it for me, guys. I hope you enjoy the book. I hope you figure out what you like. Um, I'll hopefully be getting on the next series as soon as I'm done with it. Um... And maybe some other things, depending on what is chosen and decided. Um, goodbye.